Hi Aquarius, welcome back to the channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. This is Lisa. I hope everybody is doing fantastic. Getting ready here to do your love reading. Let's just get started here. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with Aquarius? What does Aquarius need to know in love? All right. Hmm. Okay. So we got three cards here. We have stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. So maybe a lot of you are putting that energy out into the universe. If you're not, that's just really about you putting in the attention of trying to attract love in your life, good energy, okay? Maybe saying affirmations or doing visualizations. Some of you it could be a specific person, but I always say just put that energy out there, not a specific person, just really the energy you want to attract. And look, you have true love. I feel like you could be attracting a true love into your life. Now you do have separation. Now the separation energy could just tell me, some of you it could be somebody actually that there is distance and you are feeling like you're missing this person or some of you there's no contact. Others it just could be, you know, maybe you have not been in a relationship in quite some time. So with that, let's pull your tarot. Let's see what comes through. I feel like a lot of you right now are manifesting a true love, a romantic uh, partner. Let's see what the tarot has to say. Thank you, Spirit. What can you share with the collective in love? Who's coming towards Aquarius or what do they need to know in love? All right. Oh, my gosh. Look at this drop down here. Okay. We've got the High Priestess, Strong Cancerian, Pisces. We've got Strong Gemini here with the Lovers. Let's see what else comes through. Okay. We've got a Queen of Cups. It's not about male or female. It's about the energy. we got got... Uh, Libra energy with justice. I'm going to pull the rest of your cards and then we'll go through them. Wow. Yes, definitely romantic energy. Look at that. You have Knight of Cups here. I feel like there's some sort of confession of love strongly here what I'm picking up so far and, and didn't I say it here bottom of the deck here you do have the magician so let's go through this so stay optimistic about your love life we have the high priestess and we also have here the ace of wands I feel like there's an opportunity coming your way Aquarius it does feel like with this high priestess energy now some of you you've been putting that energy out into the universe maybe some of you your intuition is telling you you feel somebody coming towards you but let's clarify that high priestess let's see what that energy is about let's uh, use this deck I'm going to pull a few um, or do a couple shuffles here see what the energy is all right thank you spirit why is the high priestess here please tell me more about this high priestess look at that wow ace of swords two aces there already oh my gosh ten of cups definitely see somebody coming towards you and bottom of the deck here you have the knight of swords I feel like there's communication with this Ace of Swords. So I'm, I'm just going to say, some of you, it could be somebody here that you're separated from. Maybe you haven't heard from this person. You know, definitely there's something here around clarity, somebody having some epiphanies, some realizations, seeing happiness together. Um, but I feel like whoever this is, they're coming in pretty quickly. Now, I'm going to say with the Three of Pentacles, this is somebody who is coming towards you. It's it's a work together energy with the three of pentacles I'm just going to say some of you you could work with this person or this could be somebody they're in your environment somehow some way i'm going to say here too i'm also hearing for those of you that you feel this is a new energy this could be somebody that you're introduced to that's what i'm hearing here as well 
where you meet through a mutual person. There's three people here in this energy. So I feel like an introduction, but others, um, if you if your intuition is telling you that you're gonna hear from somebody, maybe somebody you, you feel is your true love, I'm getting here, yeah, you're gonna hear from this person. Could also be another air sign, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, right? Here is the Ace of Wands. This also tells me that the desire is, is there. So somebody is already desiring you, okay? Seeing the potential, seeing the opportunity here with the Ace of Wands. So very, very interesting. This also tells me, right, there's potential for growth, whoever this person is. If you know who this person is, let me know in the comments. You have the lovers and the queen of pentacles. Beautiful energy. Could be an earth sign, Capricorn, Taurus, or Virgo. Strong Gemini energy here. I feel like there's something here that's about to happen. Could be something solid here with this queen of pentacles. Could be somebody seeing your value, your worth. So let's clarify that queen of pentacles. Thank you, spirit. Why is the queen of pentacles here, please? Why is the queen of pentacles here? I'm really getting with this Queen of Pentacles. Let me get another card here. I feel like this is someone who's going to add value to your life, okay? Or they see you as adding value to, to their life. Let me see what else comes through here. Interesting. I'm going to get one more. I just see a lot of energy here. Okay. I'm going to say, Aquarius, if you're if you're like meeting people or dating, I feel like there's more than one love offer here, okay? Now, it could tell me there's a choice in love with the lover's card, but I feel like for some of you, this could be somebody who is coming back around with this Four of Cups energy. I see hesitation because you're the Queen of Swords in the Four of Cups. So I do feel like whoever this is new, whether this is somebody new or this is somebody that you know, that's why I asked you to put in the comments who this is or who you think this is. I definitely see hesitation here, okay? But I feel like you're open to exploring it or communicating with this person, whoever it is. I am picking up strong Virgo energy here with the Hermit. I also see here the five of wands. Okay, so this could tell me there's competition, right? But it also can tell me that maybe you are struggling with a certain situation. But look, you've got the six of swords and you have the two of wands. This is what I feel here. There's an opportunity for you to make some sort of decision here. I feel in your love life, okay? And I feel like either you have a choice between two people or I'm sensing that this is somebody that maybe there has been some conflict or difficulty with this person and you're kind of at that crossroads. What, which direction do I take? And that's what I'm really getting here because you know your value, you know your worth, but I see you getting a lot of attention, Aquarius. Look, and you also have here the world card. The world card is also your energy. It's Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio, and Leo energy. But I feel like there's some sort of new chapter, new beginning happening in your life. Now, I'm also feeling on a side note, some of you with the Six of Swords and the Two of Wands, this could be a situation, whoever this person is, where there could be a change in your living arrangements, okay? Meaning this could be somebody that you either move to a distance. Some of you, it may even be a physical home move is what I'm seeing here. So I feel like there is some definitely a lot of activity <laughs> happening in your love life, of course. Let's keep going. Now, you have the Queen of Cups. We have... Um, Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and we have the Six of Wands. Interesting because you have the Six of Wands here too. So I want to clarify this Queen of Cups. Let's see why this Queen of Cups is here. Thank you, Spirit. Why is the Queen of Cups here, please? Why is the Queen of Cups here? Got Judgment. We have Temperance. And then, oh my gosh, another Ace. You have three Aces. Wow, I feel like uh, Aquarius, what I'm really sensing here with temperance and judgment, clarifying the queen of cups, I feel like you're in a place where you are emotionally ready, I feel for this offer, 
whoever this is, whoever this is coming towards you, and many of you, it may be somebody new. Some of you, it may be somebody where there has been distance and separation. Whatever has happened, I feel like you really have kind of processed things. So you may in, be in a good place right now emotionally and ready. Look at that for this offer with the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. Because look, with this energy is also the Six of Wands. Beautiful, beautiful energy. And look, here it is. You got Justice and the Knight of Cups. Again, another confirmation. There's a romantic offer here. And we're going to see. I'm going to pull some cards and see if we can kind of get some more details on who this person is. And if, you know, I some of you, I feel there could be multiple offers here. But tell me more about this uh, Justice card. Tell me more about this Justice card. Got a King of Swords, another air sign energy, and the star card, your energy. Okay, huh? And the two of pentacles. Oh my gosh. And look, the lovers. And the empress. You're definitely manifesting love in your life, Aquarius. And I feel like with this two of pentacles, you may be kind of going back and forth, weighing your options here in, in your love life, okay? Whether there's more than one person here or whether, and I'm going to say, this other person may not have shown up. If they have not, if this person has shown up, they're coming in quickly. They're coming in fast here. You have the King of Swords and the Star. I feel like this King of Swords is your energy and justice, okay? You're getting sweet justice. Now, sweet justice could be that you went through a difficult situation. Maybe you've had some time to heal. Or maybe just you haven't felt lucky in love. Whatever your case is. And some of you could be healing a situation with somebody, finding the balance with somebody, working things out. Because some of you, I do feel that there's an opportunity for you and someone to work things out. And others, I feel like this is a new love. But I just get this energy that you're getting some sort of sweet justice here, right? And I feel like it all starts with you about being optimistic here, attracting love into your life. It's a true love, whoever this person is. It's a meant to be a true love energy. And like I said, I feel there's some sort of new chapter happening in your life. So with that, let's pull some more uh, love oracles and see what comes through for you. Thank you, Spirit. What else can you share with the collective about love? Who's coming towards uh, Aquarius? Okay. Interesting. So the first thing that I'm seeing here, okay, I get an energy here. You've taken your power back or you've released energies or people in the past who were not healthy for you. That's the first thing. And that is what has removed the blocks for you to manifest this love. And look what the next, the next card is. You've got the soulmate card. This is a relationship. You're manifesting a great connection, a relationship here, a soulmate. I do pick up, and, it, and it's not about male or female, but this is, uh, this is somebody who has lighter hair, okay? Blonde hair, lighter hair. They definitely have a very laid back, casual energy. I know this card says blonde hair, but it, to me it's red hair. So I'm going to say blonde hair or red hair somebody who is coming into your life they're pretty patient they're pretty calm I'm gonna say it could even be a fire sign some of you this could be somebody who also has lighter air uh, lighter hair you also have your career so they're very business oriented so they may do something where they're very successful um, you know who knows maybe they do have a briefcase okay and the ice queen this is actually Aquarius energy all right. Now, it also can tell me this could be somebody who is divorced. They could also be, um, for those of you that it resonates, a female. It could also be somebody who has a child. So even if it's a male, they could have a child too. All right. Now, um, there's something. Look at that. There's something a surprise about this person. All right. And look. 
new love. So some of you, I'm definitely getting a new love energy coming in and I'm seeing communication. But what's interesting, look at your next card. You have the triangle. So that tells me there's somebody else still in your energy. Uh, Aquarius, some of you, um, it may be happening currently. It may not. You also have your passion. So this does feel there's somebody around you. Now, it could be competition. You know, when I said that in your reading, whether you know the person or you don't. So there is somebody, okay, there is a new love and there is somebody that you're going to feel or you do already feel a lot of strong chemistry with. Yeah, look at that. The beauty queen. All right, this is someone who gets a lot of attention. So this could be somebody coming towards you, getting a lot of attention. Yep, look at that. You have the courting person. I feel there's somebody that there is a distance here from, a second person that you're going to be getting a lot of attention soon from, okay? And it may be a temptation for you. See, because look at the next card is the wallflower. It's somebody that you have felt that there has been limited potential. Yep, there it is, long distance. See, I feel like this person is going to come around again. There's two energies here I'm picking up for you, but there is a new love energy okay and i feel like this could also be somebody who shows this new love shows appreciation with gifts so some of you are going to meet this person online or like i said you're going to be introduced by somebody okay so it could be in work it could be from a friend it could be an extracurricular uh activity but i feel the new love energy is someone you're going to be introduced to but there's i'm also picking somebody else in your energy uh aquarius that there is separation or distance so uh you're going to be getting a lot of attention like i said some sweet justice is coming towards you aquarius i hope you enjoyed your reading i hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening and i'm sending you angel love